let's have a look at the UK Electricity Distribution System, or the UK National Grid. After being generated at one of over 170 power stations, everything from wind turbines over to nuclear power, at voltages of 25,000 volts AC, the electricity is then put through large transformers and stepped up to a higher voltage of either 400,000 volts, 275,000 or 132,000 volts AC for transmission on the national grid network. This higher voltage is used for many reasons. Firstly, because current is equal to power divided by voltage, or I equals P divided by V, by increasing the voltage we reduce the amount of current flowing in the conductors, which in turn allows for a smaller conductor to be used. This reduces the cost of the cables and also reduces the weight of the conductors hanging from the pylons. And secondly, this lower current also reduces the amount of volt drop present over long distances as voltage drop is equal to your millivolts per amps per meter times your length times your current, which we've massively reduced, divided by 1000. This high voltage supply is then transformed down to 11,000 volts at substations as we reach the towns and cities and then further down at local substations to give us our 400 volts AC three-phase system between each of the three line conductors, L1, L2 and L3. Each line conductor can then be also used individually to produce a single phase supply of 230 volts AC between the line and neutral conductor to supply each domestic property along with an earth conductor. Domestic electrical installations in the UK have one of three types of earthing systems. They are TNCS, TNS and TT. So before we proceed any further, let's take a quick look at what each of these letters mean. T comes from the old Latin word terra, as in terra firma. N is for neutral and C means combined and S for separate. So TNS means terra neutral separate, which is earth and neutral conductors are separate coming into the installation. The outer sheathing of the supply cable, either steel wire armor or often lead is used as the incoming earth conductor. This is more often found on old installations and is easily identifiable by the earth connection for the installation being made directly onto the cable sheath. Care should be taken that the earth conductor is the correct size and is securely fixed. If not, the supply authority should be contacted as this is their responsibility and property. A TNS system has a maximum earth fault loop impedance or ZE of 0.8 ohms. TNCS means Terra Neutral Combined and then separate. So it's a combined earth neutral conductor coming into the installation from the distributor. That's then split into a separate neutral and earth conductor on the consumer's side. Quite often referred to as a PME, Protective Multiple Earthing Supply, as the incoming distributor's neutral earth conductor is earth at multiple points along its length as a safety feature in case of a break of the earth neutral conductor. Almost all new supplies for dwellings will be from a PME distribution system. It's easy to spot as the earth is provided from the distributor's fuse cutout and can be seen coming out of the side where it is connected to the incoming pen or protective earth neutral conductor. The maximum earth fault loop impedance for a TNCS system is 0.35 ohms. TT means terra terra or earth earth 
This is where no earth conductor is provided by the distributor and the consumer relies on the actual physical earth to provide the earth protection for the installation, usually through the use of earth rods. Often encountered in rural areas and fed from overhead cables. Again, it's easy to spot as it requires the installation of an earth electrode or earth rod at the consumer's side. The external earth fault loop impedance, or ZE, is high, massive in some cases, and should not exceed 200 ohms. Because of this high value, a TT system will always have additional RCD protection provided. Supplier's main components, they are obviously the supply cable. You've got the cutout which houses all of the connections and the fuse carrier and the fuse, the fuse itself, and obviously the device that uh, picks your pocket. We've got the meter. These are all the property of the supply authority and should not be touched or any seals removed by the electrical contractor, who can be prosecuted for doing so. In newer installations and in Houses by request, the supply authority will fit a local isolator and the contractor will have access to the outgoing connections as these are not sealed. So if you're doing a rewire or changing the distribution board, you've got access to the tails and you can isolate everything safely when you're doing so. And then after that, everything beyond this point, the tails, the consumer unit and the installation is the property of the consumer.